good morning everyone thank you for tuning in um it is uh it is friday march 27th and uh and this is the the last day of our uh of the week so far here that we've done these um these these webinars and i think they've gone really well so i, I appreciate you all tuning in um uh, we've, we've had a lot of regular viewers and we've had a lot of interest in the uh, recorded versions of these webinars so i think they've been a really nice way for us to stay engaged to utilize this time um, and uh, and really make the most of a, of a kind of an interesting situation that we have here. Um, so uh, so again, I encourage you all to uh, to stay safe, stay home um, if you, if you don't or if you're able to and uh, and let's uh, let's hang out and uh, do some landing pages today. Um, so thank you for tuning in and. Uh, I guess I will wait a couple seconds and see if we have any more new participants here in our webinar. And if not, then uh, then I guess we'll dive right in. Okay, I guess we can uh, get started here. Um, and as always, if you have any questions um, as as we go along here this morning, if you have any questions. Uh, please feel free to drop them in the um, in the uh, the Q and A or the chat feature, um, and I'll do my best to monitor them as we go along, and I'll answer any of the questions that you have um, as we go through this. So, uh, KV Core landing pages. So, landing pages are a um, they're they're the other free lead generation tool that KV Core offers. Um, it's uh, it's obviously different than a squeeze page. Um, but landing pages are so much more ro robust in the sense that you can really do anything you want with a landing page. Um, so please forgive me if I may, um, you know, fail to properly uh, uh, properly um, identify what a landing page is. Actually, I'm just going to do this right here. I'm going to open up the definition of a landing page. And just read it to you so I, I don't stutter along with this because it is there is so much you can do um, landing pages I'm just gonna real quick we're gonna go through this together so that we get the actual definition from them so a landing page is a full page advertisement that you can design for just about any purpose. And that's exactly what I was saying earlier. Like you can do pretty much anything with a landing page. So it is kind of hard to summarize into a single sentence what a landing page is. The leads captured from the landing page are fed directly into your KV Core account. We knew that. Um, so yeah, so landing pages, I guess that's the best way to describe it. A full page ad that you can design for really any purpose. So let's go ahead and uh, look into designing a landing page. So where you're going to find the landing pages is um, you're going to come over into Lead Engine. And it's the first option here. So what you're going to do is you're going to select your domain, which of course for, for you all, it'll be, the, it'll be the only one that shows up. But just because I'm the administrator, I've got everyone's here. So you then you click the green start building button and it brings up a template for landing pages. Um, now, before you really dive in, you're going to want to, let's go over some of the things that you might want to um, create a landing page for. You can create a landing page to promote an open house or to promote a, uh, a squeeze page or to promote a, um, or to to just entice someone to join your system and have your uh, have automated properties sent their way, or automated uh, contacts or real estate news sent their way, which of course you'd want to have a, um, a a drip campaign set up for that purpose. Um, but there's really anything you can do. You might just want to promote yourself, um, and you might want to have a video. Uh, of yourself here, which you can definitely do. Um, with so we'll go over some of the different templates as well. Um, but it's just important to um, it's just important to know what your what you what purpose you want the landing page to accomplish uh, before you really start 
creating it. Um, so as you can see here, you can associate a hashtag with all the leads that come in through this uh, landing page. And from there, you can create a hashtag or associate a hashtag with these leads, and then you can um, you can associate them with a uh, with a smart campaign, so they can be automatically added to a smart campaign. So let's say you just wanted to promote an open house. You can uh, you type right in here. Um, Let's do all caps, open house, we'll do Hamburg, Hamburg open house. And then down here, we'll say Saturday, I can learn how to type Saturday. March 28th. Of course, we know that that's not true because we can't do open houses right now, but this is just an example. Um, now, these bullet points down here, they're very touchy. Um, so if you click on them, they disappear, but you have the ability to edit them. Um, so you, you just click on it and start highlighting it and, and typing it, but you can, um, you can change any of these to something that you want. So let's say like you are promoting an open house. You can, uh, have have these say something like uh, four bedroom, and then you can get rid of this down here. You say like four bedroom, three bathroom, with three bathrooms. Get rid of this. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, uh, two car garage. And then we'll say something like uh, roof redone in 2017. And of course, you can use this little bottom note to really. Uh, you know, you can, you can describe it a little bit more, but I'm just gonna take it out for, for our purposes. So this is a, a, right now you're in the process of promoting your open house. Um, now this picture in the background, uh, this is just their default picture. You can change that picture. Um, they have a whole bunch of different, um, they have a whole bunch of different uh, um, options. You can just do, uh, the exterior of a house, uh, a nice kitchen, a villa. That's pretty nice. Not sure about how many of those we have in our area, but uh, looks really nice. A modern home. So, you know, all kinds of stuff. But these are, of course, stock photos. And if you're promoting an open house, you're probably going to want to do this. Um, you're probably going to put in the primary MLS um, image and you're just, you're just going to want to type in the um, the MLS number here. So for that reason, I'm just going to go back and grab that real quick. Now, if you're gonna to wanna to do another image, you'll notice here while I pull that up, while this is loading, I will, uh, I'm just gonna grab, there we go. Copy it. Of course, we all know there's a thousand different places to find the MLS ID. But the way I'm, I'm bred to do it is, is just using KV Core for everything. Um, so we want the primary MLS image. We're gonna drop the MLS number in there. I'm gonna hit okay. And there it is. So uh, yeah, pretty, you know, it's a nice zoomed in photo of, of your house, um, the, the house that you're promoting. If you were gonna do another type of uh, landing page, you could, let's say you just wanted to promote the area you're going to want to do. Uh, we'll we'll go through over this. Um, I guess I guess we'll just go over this later. I don't want to confuse anyone. So here we are. Um, Hamburg Open House, Saturday, March twenty eighth. Uh, you can say um, we can just say um, 
let's see. Okay, so let's let for hashtags, let's do um you know what? I didn't even think about this. We're gonna want to have the address in here, of course, duh, somewhere. Yeah. That was a good catch. I of course if you're promoting an open house, you're gonna want to have the open house uh address in there. So for hashtags, um let's say we because this is an open house, um, yeah, Danielle, good, good reminder. Time being held. You're right. It is early in the morning. I am still waking up. You know, I, I appreciate your. That's why we're all we're doing this all together. Um, Saturday, March twenty. Well, the address will say one p.m. to three p.m. Um. Hashtag, let's do, let's do, um, we'll do 34 Brendel for the hashtag. Um, that's the address here. Um, and then this, this is the, the next box is up here is to sub, the submit button uh, text. So right down here, it says see list now. We'll want to change it to something like um, sign in here. So someone can already sign into your open house. Uh, the URL after login. Um, this you can do a bunch of different ways. You can send them a link to the to a, a Matterport or virtual tour, um, or you can send them a uh, you can send them a right to just the MLS information, or you can just send them to another page that says "Thank you for signing in. We'll see you Saturday" or something like that. So information about a house, um, anything like that. I think I think doing a virtual tour would be a really good way to. Uh, a really good way to promote um, the open house and to get more use out of your Matterport link if you did use that. If you did use that service. So that's an interesting way to, uh, and now, now the next thing, you could require a phone number so that they have to give your e their email and their cell phone number. If you don't, you might get a better response rate if they're will more willing to just give their email. Um, so anyway, this this URL right here is going to be what this orange button links to. So let's just say for the that purpose, I'm just going to take the um, the uh, the link that KB Core created for us. About that property. There it is. So it so it works. So there is something there. So I'm gonna click save. I like it. I like uh, Hamburg Open House. Um, only thing down here, I'm going to change. It says if you enter your cell, we will text you cool stuff. Um, I'm just gonna take that out. So I'm gonna save it, and it's gonna warn me. It says saving. Uh, if you once you once you are done with this, you can't make any more edits. Um, I'm gonna hit okay. And then here's my landing page. Um, Hamburg open house, it's got the date, it's got the address, it's got the, um, it's got the, the time, it's got some information about the house. And then it says, uh, you can sign in here. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to take this link and copy it. And I'm going to go over to my Facebook. And I'm gonna drop the link in. And here it, it just pulls up the uh it pulls up the um uh the picture, the main photo that we're using. So I'm gonna get rid of this ugly link in the post. I'm gonna say open house Saturday one to three PM. Sign in early. Um, sign in early and take a virtual tour below. Now I'm saying that because I would ideally be using my Matterport link in that um, in in this. You know, this is going to link to that, but but instead I just use that uh, the link the KV Core gave me. But so in that sense, I probably wouldn't say take a virtual tour 
or I would just say uh, sign in early and read more about it below. Um, so here, here it also says, it also pulls all the information on there. So it's got the address, it's got the date, um, it's got the time. Uh, I like it, I'm gonna post it. Uh, you can create an event too if you'd like. If you'd like to create a Facebook event for uh, for your open house, I'm not going to do that right now. But that's a really good way to utilize your Facebook page. Let's see where's the post. I have to refresh. And there it is, there's the post. Um, so when someone clicks on it, they'll be directed right here. They'll say, ooh, I wanna do that. I'm gonna put my email in. They sign in. And then here they're taken right to that link that we promised them. Now, what'll happen with that lead is when they sign in, you're gonna grab their information from that and then um, they're going to go right into your smart CRM with a um, with that hashtag 34 Brendel that we uh, that we gave them. Um, and then what's going to happen there is the way to get the most out of out of the open house is you're going to want to when you do host the open house, you'll want to have the KV Core app, and then you'll want to have everyone um, the KV Core open house app if anyone has used it. Um, you'll want to have everyone sign in using that app. And then you'll want to set up the hashtag with that app um, so that uh, everyone that comes in will have that same hashtag. And then everyone that comes in uh, from this landing page or from the open house app, they all have the same 34 Brendel hashtag. And then you can uh, contact all of them at once. So when you promote a listing like this, you'll want to have um, everyone under the same hashtag so that you can mass you can filter out your CRM and you can mass contact all of them uh, with that hashtag and it'll make your life a lot easier. Um, so let's do another landing page. Let's just, let's just quickly explore other things you can do with landing pages. Now you don't have to, that, that was just the example that we used uh, was to promote an open house, but you don't have to use it like that. I understand that not everyone will be able to do that. And many of you will be utilizing this as a um, lead generation tool to kind of help get your business up and running. Um, what you can do with a landing page is really you can link it to anything. Um, you can link it to, you can find a, a list online that is um, top 10 things first time home buyers should know. And you can, you can send that out that way. Um, you can, uh, and then just, just market it with, uh, you know, you can put a new photo in, everything like that. You might want to uh, do a, what's your home evaluation and have it linked to, um, to a seller squeeze page. Um, you might want to promote yourself and you might want to take a video of yourself and, and share it and using this lead capturing tool. So right now we're on a lead generation template. There's a bunch of other templates for landing pages that KB Core offers. Um, this is the video view. So if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to, uh, to upload a video of yourself, you would do so using YouTube, you just take the YouTube ID and put it in here and then it'll swap out the video right there. Um, so if you wanted to introduce yourself via video, you could, you could create a landing page and you can, um, you can, uh, capture leads that way. Um, there's video plus lead generation. So it's kind of, this is kind of the same thing where you would, uh, you'd capture their information here or encourage them to put their information in here and then they can uh, submit. They could submit it this way. And then you can also, uh, you can also with this template, you can also gear this toward buyer or seller leads or, or any of the other lead types. You can say like, you know, you could use it, use video to, uh, to encourage people to, to sell their house with you. 
let's see, content hijack. Kind of the same thing. So really like this is, this is kind of one of those trickery moves where um, submit. So, okay, so the URL, you might say like, um, you might entice someone in the post, you know, in your Facebook post to say like, come check out a list of the top 20 things first time home buyers should buy. Um, and then you'd put that link here in the URL they want. And then the URL you want would be your website or a link to one of your properties or something. So as you can see here, there's two buttons. See the list now. And then it says, no, thanks. Take me to what I wanted. You know, it's this link would be the link that they clicked on and, and it originally wanted. Um, whereas the other link would take them to something that's associated with your business. Kind of an interesting thing that they offer that, but you know, to each their own. Text lead, uh, this would be like to encourage them to use text codes. So you might want to, um, if you were, people are probably more likely to do this than they are to just give their information. Um, if you were to have an open house and you wanted to, or uh, not an open house, if you were to have any sort of information um, set up with a text code, and if you're unfamiliar with text codes, we can go over that in a, in a future webinar. Uh, but if you were to set up a text code for a particular listing or something like that, you can promote that text code using a landing page. And then someone could just text um, WNY sales or or if you did your code 34 Brendel about that house. They could text that to your smart number and then um, and then they would get the information that way and you would capture their phone number uh, as a new lead. This is probably one that they are more willing to, to utilize. So if you have a code set up for your, if you have a code set up for your, your listing, you can, uh, you can set it up here in, in the text code landing page template. Address capture, uh, same thing. This is gonna be like, uh, possibly putting in um, looking for your home evaluation, kind of like a seller squeeze page. And then Facebook chat. Uh, this is like uh, enticing people to chat with you on chat with you using the Facebook chat feature. So there's a lot you can do. Um, one other thing I want to go over is the background photo. So if you don't like any of these photos that they offer, I mean, they're all pretty nice photos, but if you wanted to do one that's more closely associated with Buffalo, and you wanna to go to custom background, it's gonna ask for a URL. But be careful with that because, um, be careful with that because um, you're gonna to wanna to use, you're gonna to go to Google Images, of course, but let's just do, just type in Buffalo. Um, oops, Buffalo, New York. Um, be careful with that because you're going to want to use a photo that doesn't have any copyright infringement. So you're going to want to go to settings, advanced search, and then down here, usage rights. And you're going to want to use free to use or share even commercially. So it'll limit your search, of course, but um, but you want to comply. You don't want anyone to, you know, you don't want anyone to see your landing page and say, "Hey, I took that photo, and you don't have the right to use it." We no one wants a situation like that. Anyway, but here's a here's a nice photo of the Buffalo skyline that's free to use. What you do is you right click on it. You say, uh, "Where is it? Copy link address, I believe." You go back into your landing page, back into custom background, paste that link in there. Maybe I did it wrong. Oh, copy image address, duh, I'm sorry. <laughs> go to copy image address. custom background, paste it in there. There it is. 
So then there's your there's your image right there. And it looks really good in there. So this is an image I, I recommend using. That's a really nice image. Danielle just made, made a nice uh, comment. If that image address link ever gets broken, it will remove your picture. So that's something to think about. Um, so, so be careful choosing your image. Um, this one is from Wikipedia. Uh, so just kind of be mindful of where your image link is coming from. Wikipedia, I would say, is pretty um, strong. They, they might not be changing too much. But if you have any of these other, um, these other links, maybe there's a chance the link might fail on, at some point. So just be mindful of that. And definitely be mindful of the compliance uh, usage of, of the legality of using someone else's photo, because that is a something that you definitely don't want to really mess with. Um, so does anyone have any, I know that we burned through a lot here, and there's a lot you can do with landing pages, pretty much if there's anything that you might want to accomplish with a landing page, you probably have the capability of doing it. Um, does anyone have any questions about some of the stuff we just went over? Feel free to drop it in the in the question Q and A. Okay, well, um, I hope I didn't uh, confuse anyone, or I hope I didn't. Um, I hope I didn't throw too much today. There are, there really are, there really is so much you can do with these landing pages, and um, they are a strong, powerful lead generation tool. Um, so, if anyone has any questions and they want to go over anything with me, please give me a call, and uh, and and we can go over some of this stuff together. And I'd be happy to help you out with the creation of any of these landing pages. So, thank you all for tuning in. Um, I appreciate you all coming on and, and doing this with me. I think we, these have been a lot of fun this week. I'll do another webinar at 11 a.m. Uh, that is going to be on merging your, uh, your Zillow or Realtor.com or any other third-party lead generation source with your KV Core CRM. So that's going to be a, a really interesting one. So thank you for tuning in, and uh, I will talk to many of you soon.